Resistance is growing among Ukrainians over mass raids to conscript men into the army. In yet another such incident, residents of southern Odessa city clashed with military conscription officers. A video posted on a Ukrainian telegram channel shows several people arguing with conscription officers over forced recruitment of men. You abducted a person, where is the law? A woman said. Get him out of the car, she commanded as the officers drew a young man away from the area. A number of videos have been posted on Telegram showing raids to conscript Ukrainian men. One of the videos showed a raid on October 11 in a restaurant in Kharkiv where military officials rounded up several young men and pushed them into a car. Another raid was carried out in capital Kiev during the concert of popular music band Okin Eltsi on October 11. A Telegram video shows military officials inspecting documents of males outside of the concert hall. Several men were seen taken away by the officers in a car. According to information provided by Territorial Center for Recruitment and Social Support, a military administration body that oversees mobilization of citizens, about 50 employees and police officers checked men's documents. <laughs> According to estimates from U.S. officials, Ukraine will be able to hold the territory claimed by its forces in Russia's Kursk region for at least several months, if not longer, reports Bloomberg. According to officials, Ukraine has not yet faced serious supply issues in the Kursk region as Russian forces have launched only limited counterattacks and have instead focused on their offensive in eastern Ukraine. Officials noted that the Ukrainian armed forces now have more stable supplies of artillery ammunition thanks to the efforts of their allies. President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Ukraine could use this territory as leverage in negotiations, although it remains unclear when talks with Moscow might take place as Russian President Vladimir Putin has not shown serious willingness to engage. According to Bloomberg, Ukraine's allies suggest that Zelensky may be preparing to adopt a more flexible position, exploring ways to end the war. U.S. officials said Ukraine is trying to determine the best way to protect itself during the winter and is also beginning to plan for actions next year, including the possibility of additional brigades. Recently, there have been no significant advances reported by either side in the Kursk region. Russia's counter-offensive in Kursk Oblast has also not yet ousted Ukrainian troops from the region. The Ukrainian military claimed on September the 18th that the counter-attack had stopped, with Russia only regaining a handful of settlements. Moscow is instead concentrating on its grinding advance in eastern Ukraine, closing in on the Donetsk Oblast cities of Pokrovsk and Toretsk. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that the Kursk incursion succeeded in drawing some Russian troops away from Ukraine's front line, but that it is too early to judge the overall success of the operation. Zelensky also maintains that the offensive has helped Ukrainian prisoners of war by replenishing the country's exchange fund, enabling prisoner swaps with Russia. The seizure of Russian territory is meant to improve Ukraine's bargaining position in future peace talks. Mykhailo Podolyak, an advisor to Zelensky's chief of staff, Andriy Yermak, said earlier, Many in Ukraine have felt that Russia, who brought the war to their doorstep in 2022, should face the consequences of the conflict. Russia's losses in Ukraine during offensives on the Eastern Front have exceeded 600,000 personnel killed and wounded, the Pentagon said on condition of anonymity during a briefing for journalists' political reports. It is noted that the estimate of the casualties more than 40 times Russia's losses during its decade-long invasion of Afghanistan in the 1990s is in line with previous Ukrainian estimates but tells only part of the story. The publication emphasized that over the past few months, Russian troops have captured several key cities that the Ukrainians stubbornly held. Politico says that the Russian offensives since the summer 
have consisted of massive artillery attacks, followed by large troop movements rushing headlong toward well-entrenched Ukrainian positions, resulting in thousands of casualties as Moscow's commanders seem to have decided on a strategy of trading bodies for ground. Russian gains have been the most sustained and significant since its initial invasion in February 2022, and Moscow appears to be betting that casualties are sustainable, at least in the short term. They have attempted to overcome Ukrainian fires with massive maneuver, a military official said. If you look at the salient around Pokrovsk, the number of Russian forces there is astounding. It's tens of thousands of forces that they've put into that very small area. As you know, when you have that many forces in a very small area, it's a target-rich environment. For the Ukrainians, the Ukrainian government has rushed troops to fill gaps in their front lines but have continued to fall back since the summer, unable to fully counter the Russian assaults. Russian troops are now approaching the city of Pokrovsk in the Donetsk region of Donbass, the fall of which would be a serious blow to Ukrainian forces. Politico added, Russia sent a staggering number of troops to Pokrovsk, a relatively small area, according to one military official, confirming its bloody strategy. President Volodymyr Zelensky has been shopping his plan for victory to leaders in Washington and Europe, but has managed to generate little enthusiasm for its key tenets, more weapons and the lifting of restrictions by the US, UK and Germany to allow their long-range weapons to be used deep inside Russia, where Kyiv sees fit.